Today we are going to learn how to use the precedent search on Bloomberg Law. By the end of this course, you should know how to use the precedent search to find and search documents and to get more information about those documents using the precedent search function. To begin, using the search bar and type in precedent search and select transactional precedent search from the dropdown. Precedent search is also available from the browse all content menu within the transactional intelligence center menu. The precedent search searches across a database of over 1.5 million documents, categorized into more than 600 document types. These documents are collected from exhibits to filings in the SEC's Edgar database. We have unstapled the exhibits from their associated filing and categorized them to make them easier to search. If you think you will be using this option frequently, you may want to click the favorite star at the top right corner of the search box or make the page your home by clicking on Set as My Home. There are four different main search functions in tabs across the top of the search box. The first allows you to search across the entire database of 600 plus document types. The other three tabs allow you to narrow your focus by searching across a subset of the database, specifically M&A deals, equity offerings, or credit and loan agreements. Within any of the four options, you can narrow a search by keyword, document type, transaction type, by specific clause, document name, industry, governing law, filing date, parties, law firms, and attorneys. The three more specific search tabs allow you to focus your search by including additional criteria relevant to the topic. For example, these fields include deal size and deal attributes for M&A deals, offering size and type for equity offerings, and administrative agents for credit and loan agreements. These are just a few examples of how users can customize their searches. Let's run an example search on the precedent search tool. First, enter your desired fields. For example, you could search the merger agreements in the manufacturing industry filed within the last 12 months. Then click the green search button. The search results page will display basic information about the document. Additionally, down the left, you have additional filtering options to narrow your search further. At the top, you have the ability to save the search to a dashboard, edit the search, or set up an alert with the alert function, you can be notified at a frequency of your choosing when new documents meeting the parameters of the search you have created are added to Bloomberg Law. Moving back to the search results page, to view any of the search results, click on the blue hyperlinked text. The document will display on the main part of the screen. In the right rail, there will be basic information about the document, including the Edgar source document, such as an 8K, any related practical guidance, in this case, a document description. You can learn more about our practical guidance in the video by that title. You will also see other general information about the documents, such as party names, lawyers, and governing law. You can also see the entire document by scrolling through. Also, there may be up to two additional tabs, a clause outline tab and a deal detail tab. The Clause Outline tab lets you jump to specific parts of the agreement without having to scroll through a lengthy document. For instance, in this example, you can look at the clause for four representations and warranties of buyer and merger sub, and then corporate status to view a section of the document relevant to the clause you are researching. The Deal Detail tab shows you various pieces of data regarding the transaction associated with this agreement. For example, party information, important dates, and deal price. You should now have an understanding of how to use the precedent search tool to access precedent documents on Bloomberg Law. Thank you for participating in our training today.